Greetings, children of the screen. Your friendly neighborhood nerds come here. I'm not feeling too good today, so I'm going to be trying out a slightly different format for this video, and then tomorrow I'll try to have my normal review that I have out on Sundays out. So anyway, guys, today what we're going to be talking about is the casting of the character of Wolverine. Here with the recent Disney acquisition of the Fox Marvel properties, I think it's only a matter of time before we see Wolverine hitting the big screen again, and most likely it will be played by a new actor. Now, I know some people are very partial to Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. They've spent over a decade with him, and they love him. And Hugh Jackman is great in those movies. He's a very good actor. He uh, portrays the character written for him very well. But me, as well as quite a few other people, have noticed several things about Hugh Jackman's version of Wolverine that are somewhat out of keeping with his comic book counterpart. And as I go over my casting choices today, I'm going to be looking at focusing in on those aspects. Primarily in that is the issue of the character's height. Now, this doesn't seem like a big deal. However, Hugh Jackman is 6'2". His comic book counterpart, Wolverine, comes in at about 5'3", sometimes 5'5". And that is a staggering difference. It also dramatically changes the way that the character interacts with other characters and the world around him. So for my criteria today, what I'm doing is my top three picks for Wolverine casting. All the actors must be under six foot tall. All of the actors must have the physical capability, even though they are small people, to gain the muscle mass required for Wolverine. And finally, they have to be people who have a proven or shown capability to helm a character that is beloved by millions and will go on for years and years and years. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into my top three picks for the casting of Wolverine. Coming in at number three, we have James McAvoy standing at 5'7". He meets the height requirement, and I almost just included him as a way to mess with people, considering he's already a part of the current X-Men franchise. However, the more I started to look at him and think about it, the more I thought he's actually a really solid choice. Uh, we know that he can handle action from movies like Wanted, and we also know that he can handle a diverse range of personalities from films like Filth and uh, Split. So yeah, all in all, he is just an all-around pretty great actor with a huge fan base. He hits all the criteria, and more than anything, or at least at very least, I would love to hear the fan theories that would come out of him being chosen for the role. Coming in in the second slot is the choice I feel I'm going to get the most hate for, Daniel Radcliffe. Coming in at 5'5", easily the shortest on the list, meeting the height requirement. That's right guys, Harry Frickin' Potter is on my list. Now, I know most people know him from Harry Potter, and he has a big fan base because of that, as well as a lot of people who dislike him because of that. But check out his films like Horns, or Imperium, or Jungle, and then tell me that you don't think he has what it takes to pull off this role. Again, he is, has a huge built-in fan base, which ensures tons of money that can be funneled into the Wolverine character, giving us bigger and better movies. And also, he's at that point in his career where he's done some great movies since Harry Potter, but not that much that really clicks with the public resonance, and he is ready for his next breakout iconic role. Again, look at the photos I've provided. You can see that he's really started to get buffed up, and I don't think it'd take him any time to reach an acceptable Wolverine size. Again, I feel this is the one I'm going to get the most hate on, but I am very strong in this pick that I think Daniel Radcliffe could make a fantastic Logan. All right, guys, for my number one pick, we have Jon Snow himself, Kit Harington. Standing at 5'8", he's definitely the tallest on this list, but still comes in under the six-foot criteria. Not to mention, he has a history on Game of Thrones of playing a character known for his small size, so he is used to both the public conception of him as a small person and the things you have to do to shoot to emphasize that. Again, he is in fantastic physical shape. He is well versed in action between both uh, Game of Thrones and Pompeii, as well as other projects. And to top it off, he has that mix of rugged good looks that allow guys to like him and allow the new fan base of female Wolverine lovers to fall in love with him as much as Hugh Jackman. All in all, I think he is the best all around pick. You have a huge fan base to bring to your new franchise. You have a actor who has shown his versatility and his talent and just 
all, like I said, guys, all around, this is my number one pick. I think he is fantastic and would make a fantastic Logan Wolverine. Right on, children of the screen. So those were my top three picks for the actor who should play Wolverine in the Disney X-Men franchise. I really appreciate you guys watching, and I know that some of your favorite picks probably weren't on here. Tom Hardy and a lot of the other actors whose names have been thrown around. But again, I wanted to focus on actors who I thought could meet more of the physical criteria as Wolverine, as well as portray him well on screen. Because a lot of people's opinion is, well, the reason they don't cast an actor who's short in stature is because there aren't any who could play the role properly. I think that I have demonstrated that is not the case, and I will say this one final time. Hashtag, stop tall washing Hollywood. <laughs> right on, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave down in the comments your choices for who you think would be the best Wolverine, and I will see you guys soon with my next review. Thanks for watching. Nerd Scum, out.